Yep, you see the title in the thumbnail, and we got shrimp on the menu today. I'm going to show you guys how to make a shrimp roll. Now, most of the time you see it, it's a lobster roll, but man, that lobster is expensive. Shrimp expensive too, but it's cheaper than lobster. So I'm going to show you guys how to do it with shrimp. So get in your kitchen. Let's go. All right, let's do a quick rundown of what we have for today's recipe. Back here we have our bread. You can use hot dog buns. These are some bakery hot dog buns that were made right here fresh from the bakery. But you can use the one in the package. It's totally up to you. Or any type of roll you want to use is fine. Back here we have our shrimp, mayo, green onions, chopped celery, dill, chopped parsley, some white wine vinegar. You can also use red wine, but I didn't have red wine, so I'm using my white wine vinegar. Salt, garlic salt, Dijon mustard, zest of one lemon, some crushed garlic, chopped chives, freshly squeezed lemon juice, black pepper, paprika, and some onion powder. That's all you need, let's get to it. We're gonna start off by making our mayo dressing, so make sure you grab your, a large bowl. We're gonna add our mayo here, our celery, our Dijon mustard, black pepper, paprika, onion powder, garlic salt, salt, lemon zest, crushed garlic, chives, dill. Guys, I didn't add capers, but we're gonna add some capers. I'm gonna put that in our shot list. Parsley and green onions. And let's not forget our red wine vinegar or white wine vinegar, whichever one you have. And we're gonna get this baby a mix. Guys, yeah, just that simple. So we have, we're gonna sit that aside. Let's head over to our stove. We got our pot of water coming up the boil so we can get our shrimp in there, all right? But before we head over to our uh, stove, let's go ahead and start preparing our buns. So we're gonna take some butter and we're going to butter the inside of each bun. We also wanna butter the outside. We're gonna put some of that butter on the outside like this. Guys, I'm gonna sit that baby right there. I'm gonna do the rest of them. And once we finish, we're gonna head over to our stove at that time. All right, so now that we've buttered all our buns, man, I like the way that sound, buttered our buns. We're gonna sit them aside, move over to our stove so we can start cooking our shrimp. All right, so as our water comes up to boil, we're gonna add a little salt here, along with our lemon juice. And we're gonna allow that to come to boil before we add our shrimp. All right, so now that our water is boiling, we're gonna start adding our shrimp. And we're gonna let these cook for about two to three minutes and we're gonna remove them immediately. All right guys, so we're about three minutes in. We don't wanna overcook these shrimp, so we're gonna start removing them. And you wanna, I'm gonna put them right here in an ice bath Soon as you get them out of here, you wanna put them right in the ice bath so these babies stop cooking. You don't want them to continue cooking. All right, so I'm adding them here to this ice bath. So you wanna make sure you have that on hand. All right, so let's head over to our cutting board. All right, so now that our shrimp is in our ice bath, and like I say, guys, you wanna make sure you do that so they can stop cooking. So now we're gonna continue with our buns. We're gonna put these babies under the broiler and let them brown on the inside and the outside, all right? So we're gonna leave that here and I'm gonna go ahead and take care of our buns and we're gonna come back. All right, so now we've got all our buns toasted. As you can see, we did the outside, we did the bottom, and we got that inside toasted. Now, you don't have to toast the, your buns. It's totally up to you, but when I do this recipe, I like to have it on a toasted bun. So now, we're gonna go back over to our shrimp. We're gonna remove them from our ice bath, and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do next. All right, so now what we're gonna do with our shrimp we're gonna go in with a knife and we're just gonna start getting these babies chopped up. Now you can chop these babies up as fine as you like. It's totally up to you. I'm not gonna chop them up too fine because I want some chunks of shrimp in my bites. Maybe like each piece into thirds. No, not too fine. Kind of like something like this, just like that. I think that'll work for me. I'm just gonna move this aside like this. Let's bring our mayo dressing back. And you already know what we're gonna do. We'll take our shrimp, add it here. And we're gonna get this mixed in, our mayo dressing like this. 
Guys, is that simple? Now, let's start building out our shrimp rolls. And all we're gonna do now is take our roll, stuffing it with our shrimp mayo mixture. So now I'm gonna finish stuffing the remaining of the rolls, then we're gonna get into our final presentation and quality control. And guys, there you have it. An easy and delicious shrimp roll. Let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Let's jump into quality control so we can do a taste test. All right, it's quality control time, guys. Look at this shrimp roll. Ooh wee. Oh, man. I'm going to leave it there just for a minute. Oh, man. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to, I'm playing with you now. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick uh, taste test on this baby. I'm trying to figure out how to eat this thing. Mm. My Bernie Mac boy, you don't understand. Oh man. Mm. Man, no doubt about that. I probably got mayo around my mouth. I don't care. I'm doing quality control. Guys, listen. I always say it, another one to add to your list, but definitely add this one to your list. You're gonna enjoy this one. So to the end, y'all already know who I am. All wings, everything. And remember, him not a chef. But him just cook a lot. He cooks good, too. And I'm out. Peace.